Alexa. Ah, uh, yes, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen this before. Then she'll go on to say, I'm having trouble connecting to the Internet. Please consult the help section in your Alexa app. And all that jazz. Well, you can go to the Alexa app and see if you can solve anything. But um, it probably won't help. Um, one thing you could do is unplug and replug the uh, Amazon device. I've done that till I was blue in the face. You can power cycle your router by unplugging it, waiting a f uh, about 30 seconds and plugging it back in. I did all that. Nothing worked. Reset the Amazon device to uh, factory settings. Nothing worked. None of that stuff worked. So I'm going to show you what I did that actually did work. And right now this thing has been holding steady for over a week without a single hiccup. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, guys, welcome to my desktop. Um, this solution might not work for everybody, but it did work for me. Uh, so this is something for you to try uh, that might solve this problem for you. Uh, so you're going to want to do this either from your computer or you're going to want to do it from a smartphone or a tablet, something like that, that's on the same Wi-Fi network as your home router. So go over to your browser and if you don't already know the IP address for your router, um, you're going to type in uh, the brand name of your router into Google and then router login. I have an Eris router, so uh, here it gives me the IP address. So type that into the address bar at the top. And that'll get you to your router login page. All right, once you get into the um, router, you're going to want to go over and to where you can find your wireless settings. Now, every router is going to be different. Here you see I have 2.4 and uh, 5 both right here. I've got the 2.4 disabled, but um, I did try it. If you go into the um, more wireless settings, the initial setting that was giving me the most problems was on 2.4. And this channel selection here, see it has got 1 through 11, or it's got auto. It was initially set to auto. And I think what happened was, is any time that that changed the channel automatically, it would disconnect the uh, Wi-Fi from the Amazon device. And it was just going crazy. Every couple hours it would disconnect. It was just basically junk. I had actually sent it back, and they sent me another one, and it did the same thing when, it, when the new one came back. Um, well, let me go back to this page here. So um, when I set the uh, let's see, when I set the 2.4 to channel 11, it actually did help the problem. It was better. I got a couple days out of it, and then same thing again. It was just giving me trouble. So I turned on the five gigahertz um, band right here, and what I did was this has got an auto setting too. Um, I don't know if this is true. I didn't try these lower settings. All I can say is, is this worked for me. I put it on channel 149. I did read something that said if you put the um, 5 gigahertz band on 149 or higher, it will uh, solve the problem. And I, so I just went to 149 right off the bat. I didn't even try these lower uh, uh, channels right here. And it fixed it. No problem at all. Um, I didn't try the auto setting on the 5 gigahertz. That might work too, but um, all I can say for sure is that the 149 solved the problem without trying the lower settings and uh, seeing if those were still giving me a problem or not. Uh, so yeah, just click, um, just do that and see if that works for you. All right, that's all I did. Um, there's other couple of things that you could do. I uh, if if your router is too far away from your Amazon device and when you're setting it up in your smartphone, you can see the uh, signal strength of your Wi-Fi network. And if it's really low, uh, that could be the problem too. You could either move the Amazon device closer to the router or move the router closer to the Amazon device if you like where the uh, Alexa device is at now. Um, that could work too. I did move my router into the room where the Amazon device is located at and it's been solid ever since. 
Um, but that being said, I tried it for a couple of days with uh, both devices spread across the house, and it still worked on the 5 gigahertz band without any trouble. Uh, but the 5 gigahertz band doesn't cut through walls and floors and stuff like that as well as the 2.4, so that could be an issue for you if you have them too far apart. All right, well, that's about it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.